Did you know that you sometimes choose your parents to learn some difficult but necessary lessons for your soul? Let me share a super quick story with you. So a client I had today was really abused by her father. He didn't want her from the beginning, wanted the mom to have an abortion, and the mother didn't. And he treated her like she was completely second rate her entire life until the day he died. He always let her know that she was never good enough, never wanted, and absolutely not worthy. As a result, she struggled with self-worth and self-love her whole life. I mean, think about it. If your own father can't love you, then how could you be lovable, right? At least that's a lot of people's logic. After doing a past life regression on her, we brought forth her higher self. And let me tell you, this client shed a lot of tears in her session. She said she truly, truly felt how supported and absolutely unconditionally loved she really is from Creator God. It was like a whole new world opened up for her. It was something she had never felt as a human, not in this lifetime with the family she had anyway. And then she saw an image in her mind and she said, I'll never forget what that looks like. It was a picture of her in her true, angelic, beautiful form, not as a human, but her true form. She said it absolutely changed her life. At one point in the session, I asked her higher self, did she choose her dad or did someone else on her spirit team choose him? And her higher self said her and her father mutually chose each other. I asked, why did she choose her father? And her higher self said it was so he could create the illusion for her that she was not worthy. I said, why did she wanna create the illusion that she's not worthy? Her higher self said she wanted to experience the feeling of what it was like to go from darkness to light, almost like that caterpillar that gets to turn into a butterfly. I said to her higher self, and she wanted to feel that? And her higher self said, yes, she did. Why did she want to feel that, I asked. And her higher self said, so she could remember that she is loved. I said, she forgot. And her higher self said, she thought she wasn't loved, but now she knows she is. See, when we're in the spirit realm, we are in our true form. We know that we are perfect. We know that we are love. And just for kicks and giggles and growth and experience, we decide to go someplace to forget that we are those things. All for the fun and joy and experience of remembering who we really are. It's a game our soul likes to play. Don't ask me to make sense out of it, but apparently our souls really enjoy this kind of thing. And something that might make that concept a little bit easier to swallow is the fact that many people's higher selves tell them, don't take life so seriously. None of this is real. It's all an illusion. You're just fine. The real you is just fine.